room is called the governor's ceremonial room. And th this is where he signs bills. This is where he presents proclamations. This is where um, students come to learn about the government and how things work here. And so this is really where a lot of things happen. So how things work. So a bill that starts somewhere else in the House, and then it goes to the Senate, and then it goes wherever, and then finally here. So, Right. So, so, so let's just play it out. Let's say there's a Bill 123, HB 123, and it gets passed by the House and it goes to the Senate. The Senate amends it, so it's now HB 123 SD1. And then it goes back, let's just say that's where it ends up in the governor's desk. Uh, but before it gets there, that bill has to go through a rigorous departmental review. So the attorney general's office has to look at it and make sure that it complies with all legal um, uh, issues. Then the department has to look at it to make sure that it complies with um, all of the uh, directives that the department is working on and that, that that's, there's no conflicts, right? So once it passes legal review, department review, then it comes to the governor's desk. And the governor then has to decide whether he's going to sign it, whether he's going to veto it, or whether he'll let it become law without his signature. How does it become law without his signature? If by the appointed date it is neither signed nor vetoed, it becomes law without his signature.